You know, another part of this damage here, you know, we showed you last night the Hobby Lobby that was damaged, the Walmart that was damaged that had cars overturned, as well as the Dollar General that had the facade of the whole store that was taken off. There's also a funeral home here in Spalding County, here in the Griffin area. There was a family there mourning the loss of their loved one at a viewing right when this storm hit. Molly Oak tells us about how that family had to run for their lives. It was about 430. The people inside Peterson's funeral home say they were watching the rain. They couldn't see the tornado, but they could hear it. The howling. It was just different and I knew then something just said run. LaDamian Rains is the chief of staff here. Once we turned that corner, as we was turning it, the tree was coming in on us and windows busting out. It was, it was scary. Rains says there were about 20 people inside. We had a family that was viewing their loved one. Jessica Hardiman's mom died last weekend. The lights went out first and then we heard a loud noise and everybody started running. Running to rooms in the back praying for safety. You know, I'm, I'm thankful that none of my family get hurt. The people inside were okay. We, we um, could have died. For three hours, they stayed back there. I didn't know that it would happen like that. It was, I was scared. It was dark, they couldn't see anything. But Jessica says someone was watching. I think my mom would look after us. Searching for comfort in the chaos, finding it in her guardian angel. You know, we were, you know, there with her. In Griffin, Molly Oak, 11 Alive News.